Hello. Uh, this week I'm going to be talking about Thomas Paine. Who was Thomas Paine? Thomas Paine uh, wrote Common Sense um, and The American Crisis. Um, and he was very influential um, out of our nation was becoming a nation before it became a nation. Uh, George Washington and Benjamin Franklin um, were, were uh, touched by the words that he spoke. Um, and also, John Adams uh, once said that without the pen of, um, of Thomas Paine, um, which of course with, with the, the pamphlet Common Sense, um, the sword of Washington um, would ha wouldn't have been raised. So I got some uh, pictures here. I'm going to go ahead and put together, uh, show you. And uh, here we go. All right. All right. So here we have Thomas Paine. Um, of course, again, um, he wrote Common Sense in the American Crisis, Common Sense in 1776, and the American uh, Crisis. Uh, with all it was like a it was like a pamphlet series. In 1776, um, okay, and a little bit here's some other pictures of him right here, and here's some of the pamphlets. Very interesting. Now, Paine argued that each generation had the right to determine the form of government it accepted based ultimately on natural rights. Okay, another picture. He quoted Burke's statement, the Lord's spiritual and temporal and commons do in the name of the people aforesaid most humbly and faithfully submit themselves and prosperity forever to the rule of King William III in 1688. Payne took the view that no parliament could bind its successors and the nation had the right to secure the consent of the living. Okay, some other pamphlets. Same pamphlet, just notice how it was written, got the attention of the people. Now, this was a very popular pamphlet, and um, we call it before um, in the pre revolutionary period, right before the a nation became a nation. Um, people um, were incensed by what was happening um, in, in America at that time. Okay, here's another viewpoint of it. For Payne, the prospects for cosmopolitan government depended on the will and judgments of individuals and the requirements of justice understood as the protection of human rights, an approach that is arguably the more faithful to the fundamental liberal values. An off-sighted encounter with Payne, Benjamin Franklin is said to have declared that where liberty dwells, that is my country. The piety quip attributed to Payne, the response is where liberty is not, there is my country. Even though the exchange is probably apropos, um, my reading of his literal cosmopolitan suggests Payne would be perfectly happy to affirm its sentiment that some individual rights are not capable of being bordered and their protection is politely, politically paramount. Okay, got some more pictures here. Here also. For Thomas Paine, for him, being a citizen of the world does not necessarily imply world citizenship in terms of political membership. However, perhaps unsurprisingly, given the liberal nature of his political theory as a whole, natural sovereignty and self determination remain both defined and limited by exercises of individual consent, and the rights of nations are always conditional on the constitutional protection of fundamental individual rights. So, in spite of his um, in, spite of, in spite of his commitment to nationhood, he remains a cosmopolitan. The existence of global political institutions is never actually ruled um, out by pain. Such institutions were made possible by the rule of consent in his argument and arguably even made la likely by his insistence on the protection of universal human rights. So, because, of course, uh, him and um, George Washington kept in touch. Um, later on, he would be very bitter toward George Washington um, 
because uh, France arrested him. So, but you know what's um, very interesting um, is that um, Thomas Paine uh, argued that that natural rights were given which man enjoyed when he first came from the hand of his maker. So I think that was very, very interesting. So definitely um, Thomas Paine um, played a very important part um, in helping to establish our nation. The, of course, common sense um, and American crisis were, um, were some of the the words that were in there really riled up the nation. Um, he was definitely a political activist, um, one one that was uh, helped transform this nation uh, to become uh, a nation. So, anyway, uh, I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a good day. Oh, also, uh, gee, I should give you my sources first. Uh, the Liberal Cosmopolitan Thomas Paine uh, by Robert Lamb. Um, and then I had Thomas Paine, Britain, America, and France uh, by Stan uh, Newman. And lastly, I had uh, Mark A. Scully, Great Debate, uh, Edmund Burke, Thomas Paine, and the Birth and Right of the Left. So, oh, one last thing I'd like to add, he was very liberal, very liberal, and so, and he influenced a lot of our founding fathers too. So, thank you for your time. Have a good day.